Friends, 24 day of war in Ukraine and a quick recap of what has developed in last 24 hours. On political front, Zelensky has been proposed for Nobel Peace Prize by a group of European politicians. Whether he gets or not is a different matter. By the way, many war mongers and others have got in past, like Obama, Su Kyi of Myanmar. Well, let us not diverge on that. There was a big talk between Putin and his counterpart in Turkey. And while in talk, what emerged is a form of solid proposal. Yes, Erdogan has been a front runner as mediator between the two countries and for the peace, we can call him a peace broker. The first one is that Ukraine must remain or become neutral, say no to NATO, which form will it come is not known, but by and large Zelensky is not opposed to this, so far it has emerged. The Ukrainian disarmament, that means the European Union and NATO has to be totally out of that, the arms supply to Ukraine will be out and of course denazification. How will this take place is not understood. Denazification by the existing Ukrainian government which itself is denazified or by its military or by the Russian military which is part of a capitalist country and imperialist power is not known. Yes, the safeguarding of Russian language as far as and also Russian origin people in Ukraine. That should be a no problem, at least it will be accepted on the paper. And next one is that, of course, Crimea, Crimea's position should be accepted. So should be that of LPR and DPR. But the new thing that is emerging is that of Donbass. Are they going to ask independence of Donbass as an oblast or province? Whether it will be part of Ukraine itself or Russia or independent is not known. If Donbass become independent, what will be the position of LPR and DPR? That is also not mentioned. Well, they have to emerge in the talk and the talk also says that Putin and Zelensky must have face-to-face -face talk. Let us see what that comes out. Yes, yesterday was a huge ceremony in Moscow over eight years of merger of Crimea into Russia. And more than 200,000 of Russians gathered there where Putin had a talk. And of course, he praised the Russian military, what it is doing in Ukraine. As far as the economic front is concerned, I must tell you that energy in form of gas and crude oil is being flown to Indian Oil Corporation, that is in India, and even in the rest of the Europe, worth billions. Militarily, there <clears throat> seems to be little change, and this change could be a big one in few days, which is in Mariupol. In the center of Mariupol, the Russian military has already entered, along with Chechen army as well as DPR. There has been missile attack in Lviv on the Polish border at the airport which is supposed to have aircraft factory oblique repair facilities and there has been massive damage. Ukraine says that there has been collateral damages all well as well and civilians have been killed. Donbass Ukrainian nationalists, by the way, nationalists are supposed to be good people, but then they are part of the Nazi forces, are leaving ground one by one, retreating backwards and LPR, DPR is expected to have by now control 90% of their reasons. Heavy explosions are heard in Odessa. That means the attack by Russian Navy is increasing and counter attack or rather defensive attack by air defense of Ukraine is increasing and that's what is being overheard. 
द अटैक ऑन माइकोलेव वो जो ने सेंस पार्ट ऑफ इट दैट इज पार्ट ऑफ ओडिशा जस्ट शॉर्ट ऑफ दिस ईस्ट वर्ड इज ऑल्सो इन्वेस्टेड एज फार एज क्यू इज कंसर्न द पोजिशन इज क्वाइट कंफ्यूजिंग इट इज नॉट श्योर जेलेंसकी हैज क्लेम दैट इट्स आर्मी हिज आर्मी हैज रीक्लेम कंट्रोल ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव विलेजेस पब्लिक एरियाज पॉसिबल the trusian army has retreated now is this retreat temporary or permanent what are the other situations is not very clear russian army artillery position it was supposed to be inching towards q that is also not known what has happened but in the meantime coming back to south ukraine the sea of azov the ukrainian army has conceded that it has lost control over it it says it is temporary but it has lost control over it that mariupol is seemingly is going out of the control of ukrainian army from the sea side air is in any case is not under its control and the ground also because if central city has been infested and to and being fought for the last position that means they have entered into it and nothing much can be done so that is as far as the military situation is concerned and not only eastern the western europe western ukraine is also under total threat out of about two uh, two dozens of oblast that is the provinces of ukraine half of them is already likely to fall within a week or so or maybe two weeks because russians are taking time but then the other point is that as west also says that flow of refugees into poland and other adjacent countries from ukraine has reduced that means the one part of war that was russia wanted russian military wanted that civilians be alienated from the ukrainian army so that the use of the civilians as a mask to safeguard itself is over and partially that seems to be over and now the move, move will be faster or the peace process peace talks will be faster and in the peace that what hasn't come does the russian want russian government want that the present ukrainian government should surrender that hasn't come in the as far as the war is concerned or or the pact is concerned of the truce is concerned that doesn't that hasn't come and in the meantime what comes out the armed forces of ukraine's philosophy create maximum damage to the to the russians that they're doing it online on social media abusive even trying and telling that they will kill the russian women and children and their demand now is limited to the defense air defense ground defense now offenses by large retreat you can make out this changes i mean were visible from last one week but in last one or two days this changes are very clear in form of shoulder launched anti aircraft guns to the vehicle launched now the ground situated air defense is out even the american air defense system is difficult to bring into ukraine because of russian air defense and russian long range missiles and shells that is being done in western ukraine now it is hit and hide and move backward will they try what happened in Iraq after Iraqi government fell after Iraqi army lost against Americans probably not as much as that yes another example if you are thinking of Afghanistan no that kind of war is unlikely but let us see thank you friends